Honga are known for standard vices and magnetic lifters, but range of electromagnetic vices? Yep, that's exactly what they're showing uh, at this trade show now. Uh, you can see an example of a small one here. Uh, what we, we have is, is an electromagnetic vice that can, be, of course, be switched on and off. Yep. Incidentally, the, the activation and deactivation time is very quick. I'll show you that in a moment. But t just to, sh to show you, what we typically do is have a sacrificial plate. I was say, what makes this... Th there are a lot of electromagnetic devices on the market, so what is making this different? Okay. Well, you, by using a sacrificial plate atop the vice, it means that we, we, we preserve the vice for longevity, and we have the top plate workpiece specific. So we would machine into there, in situ, a pocket that would allow you to put uh, your workpiece or workpieces in and, and therefore repeatability, keep repeatability uh, down to... Oh, okay. And then obviously not damaging, so essentially like soft drawers in a vice. Yes, in, yeah, it's exactly that. And you know, it's what you would typically do is keep that sacrificial plate for uh, when the job comes back next time. You, you would keep a, a plate per, per workpiece. Okay, so essentially giving you that repeatability every time. Yes. I noticed something else though, is this, it's on a table, is that right? Yeah, this is, uh, to demonstrate this we can, we can move this through a few degrees to a preset diameter, of course the machine tool could push it round, or we could do it by hand. Once, you know, once you've moved it through with the degrees that you require, we can lock it back down. Okay. Now, you mentioned about turning it on and off, and re well, obviously simple job, but yes. I just show, because yeah. it's got sort of fail safe here. Sure. At the moment, uh, it is demagnetized, okay. um, and, and very quickly, you, you need two but to press two buttons. It cannot be done Accidentally. So essentially the fail safe there, not accidentally touching it. It is indeed. So by pressing two buttons simultaneously, we're going to go apply all of the magnetism 100% in three or four seconds. Go on then. And now this of course is absolutely fixed. Um, and then if we, if we lost power, uh, I can demonstrate that if we take this off, we still have the power is still there. Okay, so, so in the event of a fail safe or in the event that you need to send it in on a, on a, on a pallet, the, the power will stay applied. Excellent, okay. Now I'm also thinking as well, you know, you've got this plate here which like say is sacrificial, like a soft jaw. Yes. Different size, well, different sizes? Yes, different sizes. If, if we go around the other side, I'll show you one. So Colin, this, this is another, you know, a different example of uh, how we would accommodate a workpiece. These are soft jaws. We've machined a profile into them to hold this tube, in fact, to hold two tubes. Um, and why we don't use the, the plate like you saw earlier is that holding, holding these tubes, they're not going to be as accurate as the parts that we were talking about earlier. For so the, other, the other one you've machined at an individual profile. Yes. This one, because these are soft jaws, if this tube in, during the batch, if the, if the shape of it changes very slightly, we can undo one of the jaws. You can probably see if you look closely, this jaw is not parallel with this one because we've had to move it slightly as the batch uh, has gone out of tolerance. Uh, and, and in using these jaws, also, you get the opportunity to, to, to use the other side of them. When we've finished with these tubes, we've still got a life on this side of the jaw that we can machine another profile in. Now I'm going to throw out, have we had a power cut? <laughs> no, there is no power to this vice, and as you can see, it is, it's got that. So you've still got the, magne the electromagnetic work yes. or the magnet working? Yes, without anything connected to it at all. Oh, thanks for that. So a great example of electromagnetic plates, but giving those engineers that extra flexibility. Yep, you're welcome. Thanks for stopping by.